Um, I think there's a strong argument from what we've done that uh, within educational context we ought to be very clearly using um, hierarchical response to intervention model. So at the first place we have to have good opportunities in classrooms for children to develop their oral language skills and unfortunately that is not always the case. Um, I think once that's done and where teachers are appropriately trained and informed about supporting oral language development, then you, at that stage you bring to the surface children who need more support. And then there's a tier two level or a second level of interventions that may be put into place. And there is evidence that some of these are quite effective where children work in small groups. And finally, there will be a small number of children who will, re will need intensive and specialist help. So that's the general model that we would say. And if you could put that model into practice across schools, I think you'd go a long way in removing some of the barriers that the children have to accessing the curriculum, friendship groups, and other opportunities. One of the examples we were, uh, that I saw in a classroom um, when we were developing the tool was where a teacher was teaching handwriting. Okay, now so he was a year two teacher and handwriting an essential skill but perhaps um, not immediately linked to oral language. Well, he talked children through what he was doing on the board. So he started with, first we put the pencil here, then we do a great big loop and we uh, link it round and he took them through the words and the children copied what he was saying, using the words. Then he had um, one of the children come up to the classroom and talk the rest of the class through. And then you'd see the children using language as they were developing this new skill to write. So it's right there in the classroom. I think when we have to realize that we're working with teachers. Teachers have tremendous amount on their plate in terms of what they have to do and in terms of the standards they're supposed to reach. I'd argue that language is fundamental for most of the skills. And once teachers understand that, and you can work with teachers um, to help develop the, the opportunities that are right in their classrooms. So the Communicating and Supporting Classrooms tool is divide, it's designed to be flexible so that you can profile your classroom and you can target what it is you want to develop in your classroom. So it might be more opportunities in small groups for talk. It might be the opportunities for children to ask questions or make inferences. But it allows you to profile that and then look at the changes that are happening. But it's very much driven by the teacher and their classroom and their needs.